Uh, my name is Danny Thomas. Uh, I'm a lifelong resident of Perry County. I've been employed here at uh, Wapaka Foundry since its inception uh, a little over 16 years ago. Initially hired into the company as an electrician and through a process of continuing education and uh, educational opportunities afforded to me by the company both in technical training and programs along the way. I've worked myself up to an electrical technician. And in our company, an electrical technician's primary focus is improving machine operation and function through uh, programming of PLCs or programmable logic controllers and also heavily involved in robotics. One of our main functions is to assist production in improving both the quality and productivity of our machines through programming. The production people would like the machine process altered in some way and it's up to us to evaluate that request and determine a way to accomplish it through programming or additional functions. We write and program uh, what we call human machine interfaces or HMIs and those are the operator's connection to the machine if you will. We're constantly called upon to make the machines run better, faster, more efficient. Troubleshooting is a big part of what I do as well. Uh, using my expertise and knowledge of the programs and the machine itself, I assist a lot with troubleshooting problems within the machine. They'll say the machine's not performing what we want it to do or it stopped at a certain point in its operation. Could you assist us in finding out what caused the stoppage and what we can do to fix it? Early on in my life, I discovered that I had a knack for tinkering with things, whether it was taking apart my dad's lawnmower or making my own bicycles. And I found that electrical things fascinated me. So I had already started somewhat early in school trying to learn electrical. And then I ended up going into the Navy, into their advanced electronics program, which is where I got my initial training in electrical work and troubleshooting. It proved to be a great way to start my career. You know, a young person coming in who has that desire, that aptitude for um, trying to figure things out and uh, trying to understand how things work, you know, an educational program that takes you into anything in automation or technologies is a great way to begin a career uh, like I have. There are some great two-year degree programs within the tri-state area that would all help uh, someone be qualified for a position like this, and, and we've hired a lot of people out of those degree programs here at the Foundry. I find it every day when someone new asks where I work, and I tell them I work at the Foundry, they immediately think of me hot, dirty, sweaty. I think what a lot of people don't understand is just how technologically advanced this Foundry is. Uh, technology helps reduce the amount of hard backbreaking labor that traditionally was done in these factories. Uh, and people say, well, maybe that takes away jobs. But the truth of the matter is, it may take away a job that is difficult and hard to do, but it creates multiple positions, both in technology and engineering. You know, safety programs are such today that it takes multiple people trained in that area to ensure that we work in safe conditions at all times. There are a lot of those positions available to those people who have the education to pursue those careers. I think there's a lot of misinformation about what it's like to work here at Wapaka Foundry. If I could present any message to the kids or whoever's listening out there, that there are good, challenging, rewarding careers available here at the company. And obviously with the company having a philosophy of promote from within, uh, anybody who's willing to apply themselves and show an aptitude can have a great rewarding career right here in Perry County with this company. When the opportunity came up that they were going to build a new plant here and that possibly some opportunities would show up here in the county, I felt like it was a godsend to me uh, because now I could live and work right within my community and that's proven to be a great thing for me and I've enjoyed raising my children here. It's a great place to live and I don't know that I could live anywhere else.